Hello and welcome everybody to this video. For this video I have this book that is the basic chess endgame by Ruben Fine and this book helps players from online rating 800 to even 2200. So I am going to read this book entirely and also we are going to make parts and videos about all the concepts that is explained in this video. For today we are going to go to extreme basic then we'll move on to advanced and masters. So for today we have one pawn and king versus the king endgame. Okay, so the king and pawn endgame. There are many principles in this but the basic principle, the first principle to learn is the square rule. Let's say the pawn is on b2. Then you have to draw a diagonal in your mind. It is going to queen this side. So you draw a diagonal this side and it reaches here. Then you make a square in your mind. So you can know that this is a square and all these squares are the key squares for black's territory. Now if the black king comes inside this square, this boundary made by the white pawn, then black will be in time to catch this pawn. Let's see, white plays the first move, b4, then you make a square just like this. This becomes the square and now the king comes inside the square, pawn moves, this becomes the square king comes inside and now the pawn won't be able to queen because the king is in time to stop this pawn from queening. Also now if the first move it were white to play right here let's say white plays b4 and now you make a square just like this as you can see this becomes a square. So whatever black plays it is not able to come inside the square. So this is the edge which the king has to cross but black king can't come inside. So now you don't have to calculate till the end but you can say that white wins. Let's say we end this variation just like this and you can see black is not in time and white will queen right here and now win the game. So this was the basic square rule. Another rule is that whenever let's say We'll take the black king only. Whenever this pawn, let's say it's queening this side and the black king is behind the pawn. This is the pawn, it's coming this side. Black king is behind the pawn and black can never stop this pawn. Even if it's black to play, black comes here and it can never catch this pawn from queening right here. So the black king in order to catch this pawn has to be in front of this pawn. So if black king has to be inside this uh, you can see rectangle also taking in the square rule into the consideration then only black king can catch this pawn. Okay, so the third principle about the king and pawn endgame is the principle of opposition. So this principle is really really strong and it helps you tremendously in this endgame. So let's say the king, the white king is here and the black king is here and there is one rank between the two kings. Of course the king can't come here because it will be an illegal move so there should be a one rank space between the two kings always. Now here if it's white to play, white comes in front of this king just like this. The king is here, white comes in front of this king like this and white says I have the opposition right now. And if here if it were black to play then black comes in front of the king and black says I have the opposition. So opposition simply means that your king is in front of the opponent's king and the last move was played by you. Let's say last move you played the king coming here. So now both the kings are in front of each other and since you played the last move you have the opposition. Okay now you might be thinking this opposition how will it help you. Let's say this is the position with the pawn. It's black to play and black plays this and black says I have the opposition. So now white can't surpass here and black will always stop this pawn and white can't surpass any moment. So white has to go behind and whenever white comes ahead black takes up position and white king can't surpass. The fourth concept in this, up, uh, in this end game is the concept of key squares. So let's say we take out the black king and only the white king and the pawn is on the board. So now the pawn is moving this side right. The pawn is coming from d4 to d8 to queen. So the six squares, you have to concentrate on these six squares in front of the pawn. These six squares. So if you take out these three squares, then these three squares remain. So first three squares you take out, you cancel out the squares 
and then the next three squares you term it as the key squares so these three squares you can see the e6 the d6 and the c6 square when the pawn is on d4 these three squares are the key squares if the white king reaches inside the key squares inside any one of the key squares then no matter what is the position white will convert into a queen and black can't stop it but if the black king is on the key squares and white is not able to come inside the key squares then black will draw let's take a simple example let's move these pawns behind and let's take the king here now it's white to play if it's white to play then i can calculate from here itself that white will win but if it's black to play it will draw let's see how do i calculate so fast it's white to play white comes here in front of the pawn and says to the king hey I have the opposition. Now wherever the king goes, then the white king jumps into the key squares. So these three were the key squares and white has come inside the key squares. Now even if black takes the opposition right here, white will simply give a check. King have to come here and white will come here giving the opposition. Now wherever the king goes, the pawn can easily queen. Let's say the king comes here, we give another opposition just like this. King has to come here and then we jump to the key squares. So the key squares move when the pawn moves. So for now the key squares are these three squares leaving one rank in between. These three squares are the key squares. So the king is inside the key square. Black king moves anywhere. We check. He comes here. Check. He comes here. And at the last we make a king, queen. Sorry. So this was the concept of key squares. Let's dive into it more. Let's see the position once again. If it were black to play, then black comes here and takes the opposition. If white gives a check, black is happy because black comes here and now the king can't come in front of the pawn because the black is guarding the pawn. So wherever the king goes, we have to stay in front of this pawn every time. Whenever the king comes here, we take the opposition. And if the pawn keeps giving checks, then at the last it will become a stalemate just like this because the white king is never able to come into the key squares so here if it were black like this you see it becomes a stalemate just like this so when white is not inside the key squares black will be able to draw the game and if white is inside the key squares white can win it moving on to the next position here in the book we can see the pawn is on e2 okay the pawn is on e2 king is on e4 and the black king is on e6 okay so this is the next puzzle you have to find if it's black to play and if it's white to play what will be the result will white win or will black draw pause the video and check for yourself if it's a win or a draw okay i believe we have paused the video so the answer to this puzzle is even if it's black to play or white to play in both the cases white will win so now you might think if it's white to play let's say the king goes here then black will take the opposition if the king comes here black takes the opposition king comes here black takes the opposition so how can white win so the trick to this puzzle was that the pawn was on e2 so the pawn can simply come to e3 and now white has wasted one move and the last move white had played so now white has the opposition wherever the king goes and now you can come into the key squares so these three are the key squares in front of the pawn these three key squares white comes into the key square and now white will simply win i don't think that i should continue this variation till the end but you can see that white comes to the key squares white wins so now in this position if it were black to play then if black comes here now in this case now you can't push because now if you push then black comes here and now black has the position and there is no way in which the white king can come into the key squares because black will take on the opposition every single time so now let's see how will white win if it's black to play black comes here then simply what you do is white comes here you come into the key squares so now this is not the key squares these three were the key squares and your king was first only on the key squares so at the first side you had to tell that white will win but let's say white comes here now wherever black goes let's say black comes here then you give a check 
king comes here and now the black white king comes into the key squares and white will win so what you just had to do is you just had to come diagonally like this into the key squares so these three were the key squares if you come in front of the key squares also it's great wherever black moves you just do simply pawn push if he takes this then you are losing so yeah this was a trick so here you can't pawn push you can do one pawn push if he takes the position one more pawn push and now you have the a position okay the only exception about this end game is if the white pawn is on the h file or on the a file then if even if black comes to the ending that q squares then it will become a draw why because let's say it's white to play white comes here black just have to keep on switching to the last two squares of the key, queening square and even if white has the opposition then also it will be a draw because black comes here white pushes just like this and at the end you can see it becomes a stalemating threat in the last position black could have gone this side but now if the king comes here and then this loses and so the black ki uh, king will be stalemated same happens on the a file if the pawn is on the a file and the black king reaches the a8 or the b8 square then black can hold it to a draw even if white can gain the opposition then also black just has to keep rotating to the squares and now it becomes a stalemate okay so one more exception to this end game is that if the white king reaches the sixth rank like this you can see the sixth rank then even if the black king has the opposition white will manage to win let's say black comes and takes the opposition then also white king will just move away and the pawn will be able to queen just like this because at the end black has to come outside and then king comes here next move queen so if the king manages to come to the sixth rank this is the sixth rank then whatever is the position black will manage black won't manage to draw but white will manage to win it so yeah this was the simple and basic one pawn king versus king end game hope you liked the video in the next video we'll go to more advanced puzzles with both sides having a pawn and that will be a very tough puzzles that will have many tough puzzles for even players like 1800 1900 they will also suffer to solve that So yeah thank you for watching this video if you like the video do hit the like button down the video do hit the subscribe button if you like these all type of videos and also in the comment section you can put on your views about the video what i can improve about this video and many more things so yeah thank you for watching stay safe play chess and goodbye bye bye